Leviticus chapter 25, verse 44, and it reads, Both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondmaids. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gods of people here for a bear. Basically, you know what I'm saying? Look, we don't give a damn, you know what I'm saying, what these Edomites are doing to each other, right? The different wars, the different skirmishes, America against Russia, Russia against Ukraine. Look, we don't give a damn about that, all right? That's Edomites against Edomites, all right? They end all, be it all, all of them going ahead first in the captivity, all right? You think they give a damn about a so-called black-on-black crime? Latino against Latino, Native American Indian against Native American Indian crime? Why the hell will we care about what's going on with them? Let, let them take each other out. It, it don't matter. Let them starve each other to death. It doesn't matter. We waiting on the Lord to come to put all these heathens into captivity and we're going to have them as slaves. All right. That's the message for this morning. All these nations are going ahead first in the captivity and can't nobody stop it. It's all part of the movie. It's all part of the Lord's movie. That, that's what I'm going to call it. it. It's all part of the Lord's movie. All right. Slavery for these heathens. Once again, Leviticus 25. I'm feeling good this morning about to head to work. Which we hate to work for you devils, but we got to get our daily bread. And this is all part of the story. If you don't work, you don't eat. So we got to go get it in. But, but, but just know Leviticus chapter 25, verse 44. Both thy bondmen, slave men, and, and thy bondmaids, slave women. All right? We're going to have all these heathens in captivity soon come the man, the woman, and the child. And ain't no Israelite going to be able to do nothing against it. And like, like Israelites going to be walking around, you know what I'm saying? I got the right to um to refuse it. No, it ain't. Shit, in, in a fantasy world, yeah, but not in reality. When Lord Yahweh shall come and reign upon the earth in righteousness, the Hebrew Israelites are going to be the top nation on the face of the earth. And we're going to rule over you other nations, man. And, and the first thing that's going to happen, y'all going to serve us for a thousand long drawn out years all right the edomites and all these other heathen nations and then the great thing about it after after esau edom serves us the man woman and child serves us for a thousand long drawn out years pursuant to obadiah they're going to be put into a bonfire and burnt to a crisp <clears throat> and never be seen ever again that, that's the message both thy bondmen and thy bond and once again none of these shall fail both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, which thou shalt have, which we shall possess. Because cause the, the shit that you see going on on the news right now, man, that's all an act. You see, it's all Edomites against Edomites. You see, Esau against Esau. All right? You know. We, we read through that nonsense. This is what we're talking about, though. Which thou shalt have shall be of the heathen. We're going to own y'all. We're going to possess y'all. Just look up the definition for possess. That are round about you. Of them shall ye buy. <clears throat> of them shall ye buy bond men and bond maids. All right? Because the Lord didn't forget anything. You see? Yeah, whenever something happens to the Israel, y'all, you want the Lord to forget what happens to us, right? <clears throat> but if anything happens to you heathens, I'm saying, oh, look, y'all want everybody to remember that for all eternity, right? Ecclesiastes chapter 3. But but guess what? You might try to sweep up under the rug what y'all did to the Hebrew Israelites, but guess what? The Lord didn't. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 15. That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been, meaning your spirit, right? They've been here before. And the Most High required that which is past. So even when they say, um, I didn't do it as my forefathers, 
You are your forefathers coming back, all right? Every third or fourth generation. It is no escaping judgment, all right? The most I say he required that which happened in the past. Y'all, y'all always trying to require somebody to pay for what they did in the past. But when y'all do something, y'all say, oh, yeah, it was a long time ago. Get over it. That ain't going to fly with the Lord. That Look, that's not going to fly with the Lord, all right? And we all know these scriptures, I'm going to get them again. It's early as hell in the morning, and I'm getting them again. And what? And what? Slavery. Slavery, man. Jeremiah 30. If you don't like it, turn the video. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. They ain't no getting around that. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, the man, woman, and the child, every one of them. You see? From Esau, Edom, I'm saying, all the way down to the dothead East Indians, uh, the musty armpit smelling herbs, the duty eating Africans, which we're not, uh, the Chinese, Japanese, the Hawaiians, and whoever else I couldn't remember. Non Israelites are going head first into captivity. Every one of them shall go into captivity, slavery. And they that spoiled thee, remember, they robbed us of everything, even our nationality. Y'all robbed us of our nationality. Oh, yeah, we just so, supposed to just sit back, right? And just keep calling ourselves black for all eternity, right? Just keep calling ourselves Latino and they don't recognize it for all eternity, right? Ne never call ourselves. We're just supposed to just sit back and never call ourselves who we really are, right? Just let y'all keep calling y'all self us, right? For all eternity, right? And just catch hell for all eternity. Work for y'all for these damn pennies, for these crumbs, for all eternity, right? Y'all supposed to be on top and just living a lavish life. And we supposed to be in the ghetto, the fucking dealing with mice, crawling through the damn, coming through the damn living room. We, we supposed to just take it and deal with all that, right? We're not supposed to pray to the Lord to come and take y'all down, right? We're supposed to just, just pray that y'all just rule the earth and wickedness for all eternity. Man, daddy, come on, man. Every one of them shall go into captivity. And they shall spoil thee. See what it say? And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. We're going to take everything back that they took from us. And all that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. For I will restore health unto thee, the Hebrew Israelites. Lord's going to give us our strength back, right? He's going to heal us of all our wounds, right? For I will do this 500 years of oppressing the hell out of us. And we're supposed to just sit back and be like, okay, another 500 years. Man, hell no, man. We're thankful to hear these words, man. The Lord's going to pay the people back that's been doing us dirty all these years. Destroying everything known to mankind. The Lord said, I'm going to destroy them which destroy the earth. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Because they call these heathen nations, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Yeah. So the last thing these heathens thought, you know what I'm saying, is that the Lord's going to come and get us out of this predicament. But, but here we go. But here we go. Lamentations chapter 1. What is it? Lamentations chapter 1. Bear with me. Let's see. Bear with me. I'm just looking through something right quick. Yeah. Lamentations chapter 1, verse 21. They have heard that I sigh. These heathens, you don't think they know we cry, man? The tears that roll down our eyes. You see, all this damn marching. You see the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American dudes for God-given rights just to be able to live in peace. You see, just to be left alone. You got to march up and down the street, you know what I'm saying? You were picket signs and all this just to tell somebody to leave you the hell alone. You're tired of being followed down the street. You're tired of being followed in the damn mall. But see, once again, you go into the word, you know what I'm saying, the definition for the word outcast, it pretty much, um, they pretty much, um, I'm going to have to go back to it. Pretty much, you, you don't fit in their society. You see, their whole society was, was made to make you not even fit inside of it. Pretty much. You can put the definition up there. They have heard that I sighed. There is none to comfort me. The only thing that comforts us is this word. And the brothers, all my enemies have heard of my trouble. They, they see it. They are glad that thou has done it. They're they glad that the Lord put us in this low condition, man, to what was defenseless, right? 
Thou will bring the day that thou hast called, and they shall be like us and me. These heathens are going to catch more hell than a little bit. The Lord said he's going to do them double. Because remember, we're the chosen nation of the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Y'all touch the wrong people. Y'all touch the apple of His eye. And the Lord did us like this. What do you think He's going to do, you heathens? Like, what? What? What do you think he's going to do to you heathens if he did his own chosen nation like this? You heathens have no clue who y'all actually touch. You, 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 you didn't read the history of what happened to the heathen nations that put their hands on the children of Israel. You, you forgot to read that history, huh? Micah. Chapter 5. You forgot to read that history. This is a, this is a beautiful read, but I'm going to just go to the point. Matter of fact, what did that, that, that last verse just say? Bear with me. I'm looking at something right quick. Bear with me. Pretty much, um, it's another scripture that goes into how like these cities, you know what I'm saying, are, are going to be sorry for what they did to our people. This, this land is defiled. The, the Lord ain't going to heal this land. Lens the foul, man, with our blood, man. Micah chapter 5, verse 15. Look, and nobody don't give a damn, but the Lord do. Micah chapter 5, verse 15. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen. Here we go again. I thought the Lord loved everybody. And all heathen nations are here. No, no nation was done away with. All right? Every nation that was created in the beginning, I'm saying, is still here. All right? You can read that in Ecclesiastes. I think it's the first chapter. So I can put that scripture up on the board. The Lord didn't do away with no heathens, no, no nation. All nations are here to receive their judgment. Y'all got to serve us for a thousand long drawn out years first. What are you talking about? And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen such as they have not heard. The Lord said what, what happened to us was light affliction. Watch what the Lord do to these heathen nations, man. And look, and the thing about it, it ain't no escaping it. All right? And then look, and, and though it tarry, wait for it. Wait for it, because it would truly, it would surely come. Let's get this right. I got two more scriptures, and I, and I got a roll. I got a roll. Psalms 149. I'm just hitting some points. And, and you ain't got to believe it. So the different wars and the different scourges, you know what I'm saying? Russia, uh, Ukraine, America, Britain, Europe. We don't give a damn about that. Let it happen. Let it all happen, man. Let them destroy each other. It doesn't matter. The end, all be it all, is that they go ahead first in the captivity when the Lord comes. Psalms 149. And five, let the saints, which are the Israelites, the saints are the Israelites, all right? Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, that's the only saints ever, all right? Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. It's talking about when we're in the kingdom. When Lord Yahweh is ruling the earth in righteousness, right? Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth, meaning this word, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance upon the heathens. Here we go again. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Not just one person, punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. Heavy chains. You see, shackles. Shackles on your feet, man. We're going to shackle them up. They, these so-called nobles, you know what I'm saying? They ain't never did nothing. They, they're elite, they're so-called elites of Edom. The elite banking families, Rothschilds, Gettys, Bloomberg's, Oppenheimer's, Sugar Groovers, Chauffeur of a Song. They're going ahead first in captivity. They're going to be the first um, crops of slaves. And these other um, leaders of these other nations, they, you know, Slave reform, man. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written. This is this honor have all his saints. Praise you, the Lord. This is going to be an honor, man. You see? So let them have their little war games and things of that nature. It's all going to lead, you know what I'm saying, to World War. Um, and you put a three behind it, you know what I'm saying, you know. To Babylon being destroyed, the Lord coming, you see, beaming up the elect of the nation of Israel. And, and, and look, 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 it's time to, it's time to play it in. And look, look, once the elect of the nation of Israel come out of them ships, out of them chariots, the so-called UFO ball game, all right? Put all you heathens in subjection, man, all right? This honor have all his saints, man.
Then I got one more up gone. The Lord said, look, look, by the hand of his people, he going to punish these heathens. Dealing with Sleazy E first, Isaiah 14 and 1, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. I'm reading, I'm pressed for time, so I got to read pretty fast. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, that's the Israelites, and will yet choose Israel. Same people. Look, look, a people will force a place, Negroes, Latinos, and they're the Indians, all right? Who else needs mercy? All these heathens are ruling the earth. Why the hell do the Lord need to come and show these heathens mercy when they rule the earth? We're the ones at the damn bottom. Let it all make sense and set them in their own land. We're going back home so come. Home. And you heathens going to build up our nation, man. I'll build up our kingdom, man, which is Lord Yahweh Shai's kingdom with joint heirs. You, you heathens are going to build, man. Build, 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 man. And we yet choose Israel, set them in their own land. Bear with me. We just say go set them in their own land and the strangers. Israelite fathers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess, own you heathens, own them in the land of the Lord, Jerusalem, Israel, for service and handmaids, <coughs> slave men, slave women. <coughs> so like you. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. It's going to be beautiful, Israel. We're going to rule over our oppressors, so come. So let the different now war games and them let it all take place. It has to happen. Do you want to get out of captivity? So war, war, and put a three behind it has to happen. Lord Yahweh Shai has to come. Missiles has to fly. You want to get out of captivity? And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. And now it's time for the heathens to start working for us. They're going to build everything. They're going to dig, dig every ditch. You know, only thing they're going to know is working. And Lord willing, the elect is edified. It's all part of the Lord's movie. Shalom.